Movementers, this is your girl Genty, and I am in Studio B doing this week's Movement Monday. Yay! <laughs> So why don't we hop right on into a prayer. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for giving us this day, Lord God. Thank you for allowing us this time and space to speak to our, to our fans and to others out there in the YouTube space. Thank you so much for giving us this day, Lord God. Thank you so much for, you know, our audience, our, you know, our lives, you know, all of the above. Thank you so much for everything you've given us and everything we're about to receive, Lord God. And we'd like to thank you, give you all the honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. So we're going to hop right on into the updates. So obviously you heard about a couple of albums that are coming out or that have came out. Um, so why don't we hop right on into the first one, which is Charles Stewart's album, Fall in Love Again, which is out. Uh, definitely take a listen on all our you know, streaming platforms and by the way kisses in the rain reached 1,000 streams on SoundCloud yay it's amazing that they're you know oh my goodness they we're hitting these type of numbers you know I always know you know the guys music are great so I would I obviously you guys are listening so this is wonderful so please you know if you haven't already definitely check out his album like I said it is on all our you know we have things on all our social medias regarding it but it's definitely on all the streaming platforms and as well as big stakes album is coming out next monday october 21st which is hum uh, him humble yet musically needed um so definitely ep before i forget that little piece <laughs> uh, will be released on monday next week so please stay tuned for that um and also if you don't know where to look for these great music and also for our past catalog of music, you can check out our website, which is www.southwack.com. Um, also, we have the Christmas album, which is coming out next year. Um, there'll be more news regarding that, which is Southwack's Christmas album, volume eight, if I'm not mistaken, yes. Um, and also, my hubby's song, um, Crystal Clear song, Streets, actually hit 2,000 streams, which is amazing. Oh my goodness, it's the sentence that people are listening to these songs, which is great. Um, so, you know, like I said, if you're trying to figure out where to, you know, listen and which, you know, platform you're listening on, check out the website, again, which is www.salbrack.com. And you can also check out the merch. Um, there's some merch right here from the website as well. Kind of showing it off a little bit. Um, so yeah, so definitely you know, peruse in the website. I definitely, definitely recommend. <laughs> um, so lastly, my advice for life. Um, you know, I'm, I've been saying a lot about my like fitness journey and things like that usually for my segments. Um, I'm still on my fitness journey. Um, a lot of people know uh, the Rocky Run is next month, uh, which is daunting. Uh, I already got my little little QR thingy, so I can make sure to you know clock in when I get there. Um, and I'll definitely take some footage and things like that of the event. Um, but you know, I'm still working towards that goal of being able to. I would like actually release my goal for it um i'm just trying to stay under the 45 minute mark <laughs> that's my goal um for the run i'm actually just trying to stay under that mark it might not seem a lot for some people some people might be like oh that's not so it's a lot for me um even if i hit the 40s or even come down into the in the 39 minute range Oh my goodness, that would be wonderful. And it's just a small little thing for me um, to be able to hit those type of numbers. Um, I'm doing the 5K this year. I'm not doing the 10 mile because the 10 mile was a lot. And I couldn't dedicate the time that I needed for that. So I was like, I'll just do the 5K this year. And we'll see about next year doing the 10 mile. Um, but me and my hubby is going to be doing both the 5K. So this should be... A very interesting task that I just put on myself <laughs> um, but like I said definitely you know one of the biggest things is to take care of yourself 
and take the time that you need to recover. That's the one big thing. Some people don't realize that. Sometimes you do need some time to recover, but don't overdo it to the point where you might feel lazy about it. And that's why some people feel like, oh, people are gonna call you lazy if you like lay around. No, it's your level of how you feel. Um, everybody has a different range of it, but the thing is you also have to listen to your body when you need to recover. So like if I go out for my eight, nine, 10 mile jogs, obviously I need time to recover. My recoveries have been gotten a lot shorter because my body has been getting used to those runs, which I'm very excited about. That's how I know that I'm improving is because my recovery is kind of, you know, been short and out, short and out, short and out, which is good. But if I do need more time, I'll give myself that more time because you need to be gentle with your body and be under, you know, listening to it, you know, and also listen to it when, you know, you need to socialize or when you don't need to socialize, you know, kind of listen to your body in those ways because, you know, you got to take care of it, right? Like some people say, your body's your temple, you know, who's going to better take care of it but you, just saying. Um, but that is it for me. Uh, I rambled on long enough. So, <laughs> you guys, stay tuned. Stay alert. And remember, you guys are the movement. You guys take care. Have a good one. Bye.